guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Pokemon. So this is a brand new script that got created pretty recently. The developer sent me an email saying why don't you check out my script that I made. It's really cool, especially the models of the Pokemon that you can get. Hopefully he's going to create some more and add loads more features to this plugin. So I'm making this video to showcase that this exists and it's going to get so much better. Especially as Pokemon goes out and I'm completely addicted to it. I'll probably uh, put a screenshot of the Pokemon I've got at the moment. And for everyone wondering, I'm Blue Team, which is Mystic. So uh, go Blue Team. Let's get into the plugin though. In my hand, I have a rather large Pokeball. If we go into third person mode, you can see it's pretty much the correct size, which is great. Uh, so what we're going to do, we are going to go into the material section. You can see it's just an egg, so you literally just need to get an egg for this. If you left click it, you will get a GUI up. So there's uh, four things in here. There is four, three Pokemon at the moment, obviously the three starter Pokemon. I got uh, Bulbasaur to begin with. Unfortunately, I didn't get Pikachu, which is quite annoying. And over here, we can change the Pokeball, which is a really cool feature. So we can go with a Great Ball, give it a few seconds, and it will change. There we go. So as you can see, we are now using a Great Ball. And let's check out the Ultra Ball as well, which looks very, very cool. Uh, all, you can get all three of these in Pokemon Go, and um, obviously the Ultra Ball is the best. So let's go ahead and start with Bulbasaur. So select it, and then just right click, it will shoot out, and wow, look at that. <laughs> it looks fantastic. Um, the developer has done very, very well uh, creating these. It actually looks like Bulbasaur. I can't wait until there's evolutions and loads of other Pokemon in this plugin. Um, but it's really, really cool. Look at that. It actually looks like um, Bulbasaur. So uh, you can get more. You can right click them to get um, it back in the egg. And let's look at the other ones. So if you're wondering what map I'm on, it's called Kanto, I think. It's um, the whole Pokemon world. So it's really huge. Loads of cool islands. So I'll leave a link to this as well as the plugin and the scripts and whatnot you need. So uh, everything in the description as usual. So uh, let's fly over here to this very nice village and showcase the other two Pokemon. So um, this is Squirtle, I think. Did I select Squirtle? Yeah, this is my favourite one. And as you can see, it looks a lot like Squirtle. It's got a small shell on the back, which is really cool. Um, and let's go ahead and select Charmander which I actually caught yesterday, which I was really pleased with. Uh, so there we go. There is Charmander with a little flame tail. Very, very cool. So um, I can't wait to see what other Pokemon he adds, as it will be really cool. I heard there is a feature that's either in the latest version or coming soon, where you shift, look at a, a target, and your Pokemon will attack. So I had a few problems with the latest version. Um, I'm using the one before it as that works perfectly and make sure you have the Umbraska 2.0 version so we are going to go into the config file now have a quick look in there and I'll show you which files you need to have this uh, script running so here we are in the plugins folder and there is a few things you might notice first of all we are on 1.8 at the moment hopefully the developer obviously updates it to the latest version of Minecraft very very soon that'll be great and let's get into the plugins you need. So you need SK Query, you need Script, you need Wild Script, and Umbasca. So the developer does link to all of these on the uh, Spigot page. They're all free, so that's good. But make sure you um, use my link to Umbasca rather than the developer's link because that is outdated and does not work. So make sure you use my link for this one. You need the Umbasca 2.0 version, and then it should work perfectly. You also get a Pokemon script, which needs to be put in the script file right here, so Pokemon.sk, and then you should start up your server and you'll be good to go. It will then generate this Pokemon folder with the config.yml, not too much in here. We have obviously a few messages. Uh, there is permissions for these, so maybe donators could get um, Pikachu as a starter Pokemon or something when that gets introduced, um, something like that and ball type so you can uh, obviously change the balls so pokeball is probably the one you want to start with and credit message whether you want that on or off so uh very very cool initial uh creation of a script 
it's going to get a lot better with lots of cool features including gyms and more Pokemon. I can't wait and when that does happen I will definitely make an updated video. So subscribe, like, comment and go blue team.